our second son, Jeff, was in a car accident and uh, was paralyzed and I wanted to figure out, you know, how can we get Jeff back outside? November of 2008, I got to do something. So I started putting some pieces together and, and that, that's really when the idea got put into form. In January 09 is when we drove the chair, I think it's sitting behind me, blue one with the boat seat, not knowing, you know, what chair number two would look like or when it would happen. And we kept our 500th chair, that was quite a milestone for us. And then we developed that chair into a one that stands up for, you can take paralyzed people. And we kept our 1,000th chair, which was a track stander. And it's just continued to grow since that. At first, it was just kind of local. People would hear about it. We'd have a few articles here and there. They'd hear about this, this unit and pretty soon it got to be nationwide and then we started shipping some overseas. People all over the world found out about this thing with tracks on that can haul disabled people. Uh, so through that, we started getting inquiries from all over. With the help of uh, Raydan and laser technology, we are building a lot of our parts and pieces and some complete chairs out of all sheet metal now. Basically our workflow is, all of our stuff is kind of the same thing. So we usually know exactly what we're going to use. And we keep a quantity of cut parts, a quantity of bent parts, and a quantity of welded parts that are ready for paint. So if the quantity gets low on the, the cut parts, we fit into each nest what we need where. And sometimes there ends up being some extra parts that we just fill in so we have those. So it ends up, we have more than we need, but that keeps it so we're, the next guy down never, he never runs out of parts and pieces as it goes down the line. Designing it with these programs versus, you know, the way Darren and I used to do it is just go out back, find some metal, start bending it and welding it and making something. You can actually do it. And you can see how it works. You can see where the stress points would be. You can change it and then send it to the laser and it makes the parts for you. So our whole system has advanced tremendously. If we have a one-off part and we need to get it quick, if it's already a designed part, we can take it like say DXF from SolidWorks, send it into the nesting program. It takes probably 30 seconds to get it uh, nested and the G-code's written, send it out to the laser, load it in the laser and we can literally from, I would say the shortest time, five minutes from the time you need the part to having it cut. And if you have this expensive equipment and you do something wrong, it can cause a big catastrophe because maybe there's too many programs going on and it's too hard to remember all the stuff. But one process makes it far easier, far faster, and it's all programmed from one computer. You can actually build it using Raydan and SolidWorks versus us going back and finding some tubing and bending it up. So it has really advanced into that whole program. And we could, we could actually time it, like, it's fast. <laughs>